Could be one man committing the crimes. It could be as many as three. Tonight, Seattle police want help finding whoever's responsible for attacking women as they sleep in their bedrooms. Coma Force Mark Miller is live in the U District, where at least three victims report they woke up as they were being sexually assaulted. Mark? Yeah, these repulsive attacks are happening right next to the University of Washington in the area between 15th and 20th Avenues, 45th and 50th Streets. And police say the suspect or suspects are targeting what they call these rooming houses, which are basically just these residences where a lot of women live together, each having a room. Now, I want you to take a look at these sketches. These have been compiled from what these victims remember. If you think about it, studying these could help prevent another attack. It's kind of scary because like I live like right over there like on 16th. In a residential area that includes Greek Row along with dozens of houses that rent rooms to students. And for the first time they are getting a look at the sketches of an Hispanic male late 20s about 5'7 medium build with a mustache. The victims saw their attacker in the dark. That means it's hard to know whether they are describing the same man or different men. Perhaps the most disturbing element of this case is that the women are being sexually assaulted in their rooms as they sleep. That is horrifying. Like, that's... Uh, yeah, that really creeps me out. Detectives believe whoever is responsible is targeting these rooming houses, where it might be easier to get in since there are often people coming and going. At least three other women may have narrowly escaped attempted attacks a couple weeks ago. Officers wonder if the sketches are of the same person who back in February tried to open a bedroom door while a woman slept and in another case removed a screen from a bedroom window. The university has alerted students who say they are taking precautions. Someone came around and just said, you know, like, be safe, like, lock your windows and doors, just, like, make sure that the house is secure and that you're not walking alone at night. And University of Washington police as well as Seattle police have stepped up their patrols. I saw a UW cop go by just a moment ago. And yes, this is pretty upsetting. I tried to talk to a couple of other sorority ladies about this, and they said they have been advised not to talk about it with anybody, especially anybody in the media. But hopefully they'll all circulate those sketches. Live here near the UW, Mark Miller, Como 4 News.